Wayne Superstar, three times Oscar nominated, and winner of this year's most good looking Fergal Award. <laughs> okay, so none of that may strictly be true. But my name is Sloppy. <laughs> So today, we are going to learn about fractions. What are fractions? Hmm. Well, Sloppy knows what his favorite fraction film is. The Incredibles! Oh my days, they really are incredible! <laughs> what? Oh. Apparently, that is an action film. Oh. Sloppy definitely needs to learn about fractions. Hmm. So a fraction is a part of something! I get it! <laughs> so, a slice of this delicious cake is a fraction of the whole cake! Get it? <laughs> oh, now Shlop is hungry! Fractions look like this! There is a top number, and there is a bottom number! <laughs> I said bottom. <laughs> Sorry. The bottom number represents the whole thing, or the parts that make up the whole thing. So, if I was to cut a mouth-watering cake <sighs> into four pieces, the bottom number would be four and would represent the whole thing. The bottom number is called the denominator. Say it with sloppy. Denominator. <laughs> Sounds a bit like a Transformers robot. <laughs> I am the denominator. I am the denominator. The top number is the part of the whole thing. It's called the numerator. The numerator. So we've got the numerator and the denominator. Remember those words, okay? This top number should be smaller than the bottom number because it always represents a part of the whole thing. So, if I eat just one little slice from this whole cake, then I will have three slices left out of four, right? Ah, oh, lovely cake. Yes! So, we would write it like this. Three over four. Three quarters! <laughs> I would have three out of four slices of cake left. And that's a fraction! <laughs> We're fractioning! <laughs> Although, I'm not sure that's a word. So now, I have three cups full of delicious sweets. We can show that three out of three cups have sweets in them. Three out of three is the same as one out of one. It's a whole number. If the numerator is the same as the denominator, then it's a whole number. If Sloppy was to eat all of the sweets in one of the cups, then how, using fractions, would we show that only two out of the three cups now have sweets in them? Hang on, this might help you. Denominator, denominator. But now only two of the cups have sweets in them. One, two, two. That's it. The numerator here is two. Two out of three. <laughs> Another fraction. I did it. <laughs> Sloppy testing. <laughs> Because that's when Sloppy waves his furry arms around like this. <laughs> what <was> that? <laughs>
Oh, yes, fractions are important for a couple of reasons, especially when it comes to sharing things equally. For example, if you buy a pineapple pizza and there are eight people who want a slice, then you'll know to cut the pizza into eight equal slices. So each person gets one eighth, one over eight, of the pizza. However, in this case, that can't happen. Because Sloppy has accidentally eaten the whole thing. <laughs> and now Sloppy doesn't feel too good. <sighs> Fractions are also useful in games and sports. If you are playing a game, for instance, and you have reached level 5, then you could be on the final level, or you could still have lots of levels to go! If you know how many parts make up the whole thing, then you will have a much better understanding of where you are and not get lost. Like Sloppy is most of the time. I have no idea where I am right now. If you are on level 5, and there are 20 levels in the game, you can write that as a fraction! 5 over 20! You still need to finish 15 levels to complete the game. 15 levels? Oh, that's terrible! I've got so many levels to go! <laughs> Don't judge, Sloppy! If you had furry hands, you'd be rubbish at video games too! Mm. Or in sports! If you have played one minute of football in a ten minute match, then you have done one over ten, which means you need to play nine more minutes. Oh, wow. Sloppy tired just thinking about it. Oh. On my head. Oh. Well, I hope you learned a lot with Sloppy today about fractions and Numerators and denominators. <laughs> I certainly did. Who knew fractions were so important and helpful in life, and that they actually have nothing to do with action films? <laughs> <sighs> Sloppy would be great in an action film. Agent Sloppy, at your service. Ow! 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 Oh, my eyes! My beautiful eyes! <laughs> Only joking!